OK, so let's say you've gone through the process of reducing to linear form. And what you've then done is you've plotted the new points log 10x against log 10y. And then you've drawn um, a line of best fit, effectively, that passes through that information as best it can. It should be in a straight line now. And what we've got is this. OK, we've got a straight line. There's this, these data points that you can kind of imagine that have been plotted. And this line um, is suitable for that information. And we can see that it's passing through 9 on the uh, capital Y axis and it's passing through 3 on the capital X axis. So what you can do then is you can say, right, well, the Y-intercept, C, is 9 and the gradient of this line is the difference in the y divided by the difference in the x because it's going down that way so we've got minus 9 over 3 which is minus 3. So the equation of that line you could write as y equals minus 3x plus 9 like that okay now, because we know that x and y represent log 10x and log 10y, we can put those back in. Now, at this point, okay, what we can then say to ourselves is, well, that minus 3 can come up into the power using our log laws. Now, 9 is the same as 9 times 1. And we know that 1 can be written as log 10, 10. And so you can then bring the 9 up to the power of the 10, like that. You can then combine those two logarithms. So log 10 of 10 to the 9 times x to the minus 3. And now you can get rid of the logs, because if you've got log 10 of y equals log 10 of this, then the y must be equal to what's in that bracket. And you can see that this is of the form a x to the n, where a is 10 to the 9 and n is minus 3. OK? So that is how we could work out the equation of the curve that fits the original information. So whatever that looks like, okay, that is fitting the original information that I plotted on a graph. I then remember what we had. We had the data on a graph. We uh, said it's of that form, y equals ax to the n. We reduced uh, for a linear reduction. OK, we plotted the new data points, which looked like they were going in a straight line. We estimated uh, the gradient of y-intercept of the line. In this case, I found them exactly. And then we could work our way back to the equation of the original curve. OK, and that's the process that we're going through here.